So what is going on ladies and gents and Phantom Plays here coming from the Abstract Channel and what I'm bringing you today from what I have gotten so far, I haven't <laughs> uploaded this so far yet, but it is a 65 and all on St. Marie Dumont. You don't see a lot of gameplays on St. Marie Dumont because it's a pretty shitty map considering the fact that all I did was run around the whole time and try and find people and the spawns are so fucked up on this fucking map, it's like what do I do? I ran every streak I could have possibly can. I mean, I shouldn't have run carpet bombing because that streak's a useless piece of shit. But if you're new to the Abstract channel, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. As well as don't forget to subscribe. And I will be bringing you today's commentary. And that's about, do you guys think Call of Duty World War II is a piece of dog shit? Or is it this year's best Call of Duty so far? In my personal preference, I think it could be better. It's okay, I guess I could give a 5 out of 10. It's not so great. I mean, there's a lot of times where you're shooting at people, and the fact that you shoot first and you still die first by some lower tier, you know, lower damage, lower fire rate weapon really fucking annoys me. And the fact that they haven't addressed that yet, or nobody has addressed that yet, has really fucking irritated me. Because I would like to win more gunfights instead of camping in a corner when my health is slowly regening, being killed off by some dumb shit because some kid wants to run some stupid shit like a fire shotgun. I can't believe nobody has addressed this shit yet. I think it's due to the fact that the flinch is still bad. I don't know why they haven't fixed that yet, but I hope they do fix it in the future. Another thing about why I think it's a 5 out of 10 is honestly some of the maps, you know, are complete trash. Like Aachen and Gustav Cannon. I personally love playing Gustav Cannon in 6 man parties or in parties, but when I'm playing by myself it's like I don't want to play it because when people play on the map all they do is sit in that goddamn building in the back of the spawn, they don't even move, they just sit there and snipe the whole time expecting to get a streak, then they get shot from behind, then they put trip mines in there so people don't fucking kill them off their gay ass little camping streak, you know, and let's get on to Aachen, Aachen is personally, I think, one of the worst maps in the game, like, how the th how the map is set up, it's just, it's just really weird, because there's only two lanes, and when people are in those two lanes, where if you only have an option to go through the third, you get shot by snipers, or if you go on the left and the right in those two lanes, which are in buildings, you'll get, like, basically killed by head glitchers with bars or FG-42s. That's basically why that map is a piece of dog shit. Overall, if you're playing in a six-man party and you don't know how to trap on that map, good for you, because it actually takes skill to trap on the map because the spawns flip everywhere. Like, literally, they flip on three sides. So if you're not being careful, not paying attention, you could potentially get killed off your V2. I've not, I have not—I haven't seen a lot of people, you know, go for that shit on the map. I mean, I've seen someone drop 100 kills. I think it was in, I think, yeah, I think it was in CTF. But I haven't seen anybody, you know, drop some major gameplays. But the only person I've seen, you know, drop some major gameplays while playing solo on that map, I think is uh, somebody in Rush named Hollow. I think that's about it because... He's basically one of the, like, very few amount of people that actually can play this game solo, or any of these maps solo. I'm, you know, I'm proud of that dude. I hope you're doing well in that game, or in this game, because I cannot stand playing solo when it comes to being on those shitty maps. But so far, I can give you also a personal preference on what I think are some good side of uh, Call of Duty World War II when it comes to maps. There's actually a couple maps I do, like Ardennes Forest, because the spawns are on two sides. They spawn on the bridge, or they spawn in the back where that bunker is, which are some pretty good spawns. You don't usually spawn in the middle unless they spawn behind you in ruins. Flak Tower. Flak Tower is one of those maps that's, like, one of the best maps in the game. I don't know who said every single map in this game was bad. Not every map in this game is bad. There's those questionable ones. I mean, they're slow-paced. I mean, this game is slow-paced. Well, not the maps. The maps, some of the maps aren't slow-paced. But if you're playing on a slow-paced map, then that's definitely going to affect your personal preference of the game itself. But Flak Tower. Why Flak Tower is the best in, in the game for when it comes to a map is because you can basically sit on this little edge or sit on the edge of the, where the flag is and just sit there and head glitch where they spawn in front of you, basically like a OG spawn trap. And you can just spray and spray and spray. But you have to have people watching behind your back so you don't die, because if somebody's holding the flag, they can spawn behind you and you can get killed off that shit. Let's get on some other stuff that really makes this game really, really a 5 out of 10. Honestly, the fire shotguns. The fire shotguns are the most overpowered, most bullshit, most, you know, noob-friendly thing that they could possibly do with the shotgun. Shotguns, in itself, 
are already annoying, but I want to know where in the fuck they got the idea to put incendiary rounds in a shotgun. I mean, the only time incendiary rounds were in a game was in Black Ops 1 in the campaign. I don't even think that that was incendiary rounds. I think it was just a fire shotgun in the Black Ops 1 campaign. I think they must have taken the idea from that, from the campaign, and thought it would have been a good idea to put it in multiplayer. Obviously not a good idea, because a lot of damn people hate it. Honestly, I hate it myself. I've died to that bullshit on 15 no's, you know, right off my V2 streaks. It's annoying as fuck. Why didn't they... And on top of that, they said they nerfed it. It's still good. It's still powerful. I think they just slightly nerfed it. Like, they slightly nerfed the FG-42. Well, I can take that back. They majorly nerfed the FG-42. Then they rebuffed it, honestly. Also, let's get on something else. Snipers. Every single fucking sniper I've noticed never gets hit markers besides the Lee Enfield. Even though the Lee Enfield has, like, one of the highest damage registrations in the game when it comes to a sniper, it's one of the most annoying things. Why do, when I use a sniper, I get hit markers and my aim assist magically goes away? Like, what the fuck is that all about? What is with all this inconsistent bullshit in the game? Honestly, if you guys want to give a rating down in the comments of what you think of this game, let me know. And I will see you in the next gameplay. Hopefully my next gameplay will be uploaded. And I will see you later, guys.